This is my review of a pepper gel canister from Sabre and the holster that it comes with. I like the packaging. The packaging doesn't require using a knife or scissors. This is a gel, so it'll buck wind better than a pepper gel stream or a mist will, so that's good. The safety is easy to actuate. I'll go ahead and roll in the footage of me testing this. This is the Sabre Pepper Gel with holster. The stream can reach up to 18 feet. So this is about 14. Well, it did it. I think it could make the full 18. So the range is good. Saber says it has a range of up to 18 feet. I think that is true. I agree with that. Might require aiming a little high, but I think it could do it. Let's look at the holster. The holster is has this loop here, so you'll have to thread your belt through there. There's no clip. Uh, it would be nice if this was a metal clip like some competitive options. The Velcro is weak. Velcro, the Velcro is really weak. I guess it's adequate. Let me put this in here. So this is a really tight fit. This is, this is some sort of elastic. So this is gripping this real good. So the Velcro may not even matter that much. It might just be to keep water off of here and keep direct sunlight off of it because you don't want direct sunlight to hit your pepper spray. I had pepper spray in the back seat of my sedan, and it exploded while I was driving, and that made driving difficult. I had to pull over. So let's look at one of the competing, competing? One of the competitive pepper sprays to this. This is the pepper enforcement spray with a holster, very strong Velcro. The Velcro is better on this one. And it has a clip, which I like. You can just put this on your belt and then take it off real easily. No need to take your belt off of your pants like this would require. You have to totally you know, unthread the belt from your pants to get this off, but not with this. This one is larger, so that would make it more difficult to conceal but it would also make it have more range and have more shots. This says up to 18 bursts, and I think it could probably do that. I tested this with a long stream, like you saw. I didn't try little short bursts, but I think that that is accurate. So I do like it. Uh, I think I like this one more just because I'm willing to take a canister that's, what is that, an inch or two longer to have more capability, but you may want a smaller canister and this could be a good option for you. I reviewed more than 20 pepper sprays in a video. That video shows lots of good everyday carry pepper spray options. It also shows some pepper sprays that I would definitely not use and that I would not trust my life with and I would not spend my money on and I don't think you should either. So check out that video, it's a good idea.